Hey y'all, how's everyone doing? Okay, hard drive time. What to do with them and how to take them apart. Now this hard drive, it weighs one pound, four ounces. Boardsort.com will buy these as they are, but it's not cost effective for me to ship this to Ohio where they're located. Now, check with your scrapyard. They might buy hard drives and have a set price. In 2022, e-waste was an $18 billion industry in the United States of America. So more and more scrapyards are buying e-waste. My scrapyard does not. So what I like to do is to go ahead and take off this board right here. So let's remove these screws. And this is a non-SATA hard drive board that BoardSort.com pays $14 a pound for non-SATAs. And it's a non-SATA because it has these pins in here versus a SATA which has flat gold pins right here. The SATAs are $6.75 a pound, $14 a pound. So I sell that to BoardSort.com and then the rest I break down and sell individual pieces. Okay, now we need to remove this cover. And there's always going to be a screw somewhere under the label. And you just feel around with your finger. And I can tell that it was, it's right under here. Just got to remove that label enough to expose the screw. There it is. I just go ahead and pry that lid off. There is the inside of a hard drive. Now this cover, sometimes they're stainless. Out here, magnet doesn't stick, but right there, the magnet does stick. And there's actually two layers of metal right here. Get this on camera. If you can get your knife under here, lift that up. It's just held on with glue. And you can see that right there. And once you get that, you can grab it with some pliers or something. And just start peeling that layer of steel. You can see all that, that glue in there. That's the magnetic piece. And that is a stainless steel piece. I won't bore you on camera with peeling that apart, but we'll uh, weigh this up at, at the end. Look how shiny these discs are. And these are called platters. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this magnet right here. These are extremely powerful magnets. Neodymium is what they're called. We'll set that off to the side. We'll come back to that in a moment. And this is the writer slash reader. It's what rides, writes the memory, the data on the platters, and it also reads it. There's a screw right here. And we'll unscrew that. And then that comes apart. We have another one of those magnets. I'm going to show you how strong these are in a little bit. 
Now here is the reader writer. You can see we got a little coil of copper right there. So I just clip it like this. And there is some copper. Sometimes these are aluminum, but I can tell by clipping it, it's copper. Now I have heard there is fine gold inside here. So if you're into refining gold, you want to keep these or store them up and maybe find somebody to buy them. If you can't be bothered with that, you can just toss this in with your aluminum breakage. Okay, now to remove the platters. We just got a bunch of little screws right there. Now the screws are removed. This is a piece of aluminum. And we got one platter. Now these are a highly polished aluminum. Now we've got a motor in here. Got some screws we need to remove. And there is an electric motor. We've got this piece of plastic that we need to remove because this base is cast aluminum. Get under there and pry that thing out. And there's some connectors in there. There might be some gold on this circuitry right here. I'm not entirely sure. Now, it's just a matter of cleaning up the rest of this non-metal material just to keep the scrap yards happy. Get that piece of garbage off of there. Gotta get this off of there. Got another little piece right there just to pull off. Take off those labels. And now, this little seal right there. Now we've got a clean piece of cast aluminum. Okay, let me get cleaned up and we'll talk about some numbers. Almost forgot, I wanted to show you guys an experiment with this magnet. So here I've got a six pound piece of steel. And then I've got this kind of magnet that you find out of microwaves. These are actually really nice. But you can see, it doesn't even budge this. Now, for one of these magnets. There you have it. That's how strong those are. All right, let's get to the numbers. All right, y'all. I got the numbers crunched. Just a side note, this is not the same hard drive that I removed from a computer a couple videos ago. This was a different one. So let's just recap. If I had sold this hard drive like this with the board still attached, boardsort.com pays 65 cents a pound. This weighed one pound, four ounces. So that's 81 cents. However, if you sell the hard drive to board sort with the board removed, now this drops down to 35 cents a pound but this board is worth $14 a pound. And so that means this hard drive without the board complete sells for 35 cents a pound and that would be 41 cents. But the board weighs one ounce, 1.15 ounces at $14 a pound and that comes out to a dollar. So then that would be a dollar 41. Okay. So 
let's go over everything. Piece of cast aluminum. It weighs nine ounces and at 37 cents a pound, that is 20 cents. We've got some old sheet aluminum and this weighs 1.75 ounces and at 41 cents a pound, that is four cents. We've got an electric motor that weighs 2.15 ounces at 19 cents a pound, that is two cents. I've got some stainless steel and that weighed 2.3 ounces at 31 cents a pound. That is four cents. We have some steel and I'm weighing the magnets of steel even though I'm gonna keep them. That's 2.85 ounces at seven cents a pound. That is one penny. The dirty aluminum, this is 0.65 of an ounce at 18 cents a pound. That is worth a penny. This tiny little copper is one tenth of an ounce and at 275 a pound, that is worth two cents for a grand total of $1.34. But remember, the board is worth a dollar alone. So the rest is only worth 34 cents. To me, it doesn't matter because I'm a hobby scrapper and I just love scrapping. But if you're curious about the numbers, there it is. So thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you to all of my subscribers. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you for being here. And thank you to everyone viewing this video. Make sure you hit the thumbs up. It really helps this video and my channel. If you're new here, maybe consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you God for another wonderful day. Thank you God for helping me make this video. Thank you God for everything. Lord, I just ask that you would just heal the brokenhearted. Lord, there is a lot of sad people out there who are dealing with real issues, heart issues, broken relationships, broken families, lost loved ones. God, I ask that you would just heal them, comfort them. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. All right, y'all. I'll see you in the next video.